Oh, afternoon. I think we're live now. We've got green dots. Not much of a green dot. Um, I've forgotten to, uh, oh yeah, I think we've got volume. I've forgotten to um, let anybody know I was going live, so I don't know if anybody's going to join. So I'll just get on with it. Oh, won't you know? It's, um, almost Christmas. We're actually having a, um, hi Gemini, having an early like Christmas thing tonight because we're going to be um, away for Christmas um, in Fred's Ventura. I uh, can't take all of the presents for the kids, so we're going to have to have a bit of a mini opening tonight and then take some with us. It's really bizarre. Um, I got a notification, I'll call. Hi, Palazelle. Um, oh, hi, Shells. Hello, Shells. I like that. Um, you too. Oh, you got a notification. Um, yeah, so I've got mostly vintage stuff. Been to Woodley this morning. Just got back from. Just got back from post office. It's cold out there. It's not too bad down here now. One of my five sons. Um, oh, the wind's picking up though. I actually I made a bit of a boo boo this morning because um, I oh I've got shed loads to do. We're going Saturday morning. We've got a taxi booked for to go to the airport. And like my husband, like, back at the weekend, I've got calendar out and I was like, right, I'll write on every day what I've got to get done so that I can cope. And he's like, well, you don't have to do any work this week, do you? You know, you could just um you know not work this week i'm like uh you don't have to go source i was like mm, like but i enjoy it oh hi karen um oh good because i forgot to put in our little chat and then i'd lost facebook by the time i came on here oh i can get rid of eva as well that might help um and then um and then i stupidly we've got a family whatsapp group i meant to just whatsapp my aunt and say i'm going to woodley like fly and visit do you want to come freaking put it in the family group so then Tom will have seen it anyway and I'm like oh you're going sarsen are you like so you know so then when I'm moaning that I haven't got enough time to do everything you're going you think that's sarsen but they get off surgery from housework and that's good then yeah it's when it is windy yeah I've got a few more yeah a few more parcels to drop off today it, was it last not last night the night before like weekend was sort of average you know all right but then Sunday night I and mean, yesterday morning was Brilliant, brilliant for sales. Um, yeah, yeah, go and work, definitely. Um, yeah, well, you'd have seen in the um, thumbnail. I don't I look at this. I couldn't resist it. What is it with its seal, its moss? I don't even know if I should, I mean, I'm gonna get four pound 50 back on it, that's what I paid. I couldn't not get him. Why do people dress dogs up like this? I just, thought it was hilarious and I had to buy him yeah so I don't even know what he's worth but I'll show you what I, I don't know what it is I'm not really a health person but but they they're so funny when they dress them up because you might have seen this before on Insta I got this last summer from the car no was it summer before no I can't remember a long time ago from the car boots boo the world's cutest dog and he's having a tea party <laughs> and I why I, I don't know I can't Look at this, I can't resist. This is just an ornament now. It's not even for the resale, it's just an ornament. I can't, I can't look at that. What what were they thinking? It's but it's cute in a very odd way, isn't it? F yeah, freak it's why is he having tea? <laughs> I can't, yeah, but I but, but then I'm drawn to that. I've got that um guide dog tray as well. Um I'm a bit drawn to this stuff can't help it right i'll rattle through this um because yeah but we've all got a million things to do oh before i start does anybody know i put this oh actually he's got a button on his back who this oh okay oh hang on he does that who this is i think is he from um i only played a pan yesterday in the zoo i just found oh does that come for us Fancied him. I think he might be from the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Am I thinking of the right thing? Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I just like him. He might be a keeper. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, so, also from yesterday, I did pick up some placematty things that aren't Pimpernel. So I've paid two pounds for the coasters, four pounds for the placemats. They come in boxes like this, and they say handcraft by something something. Something right, Wilmslow, that's what it says on the back. I can't really find, and they're Shakespeare quote things. So quite quite cool, really. Um, I can't really find anything about these 
handmade doodars, but I'm ooh, quite a nice box as well actually. But I'm gonna um, just I uh, usually place mats and coasters together. I just put them for 25 plus shipping. Actually, they're flipping heavy. That's gonna be a heavy parcel as well. Um, yeah, that was just I was feeling a bit desperate. Ooh. Um, right, I did buy. So nowhere near. Um, hi, tap peddler. The, yeah, the guide dog quicker tray. I've still got him. Yeah. Um, again, nowhere near like the the profit I want out of things, but I can't. Some things you just can't resist because you just like dealing with them. I fucking remember these boxes. You remember a box like that, don't you? Everybody from my like, childhood. Um, it was only a quid. Um, it's stamped on the back, September 1985. So just 80s baubles. Probably only get a tenner for those. I'm not worried that, um, you know, it'll be too late for Christmas now because Christmas sells all year round, as we know from, well, I know anyway, but also who's always saying that, Caroline from the Celtic Traders. Um, but yeah, I just like dealing with stuff like that. So that's fine. I saw this. Whoa. Oh God, I'm on wheels and I've just almost gone out of shot. <laughs> um, saw this monsoon jacket last week. And uh, <laughs> too young to remember. Um, what size is that? Oh, Christ, like, oh, 14. Yeah, started off at 9.99, went to 8.99, 7.99, 6.99. I saw it last week, I was like, I'm not paying that. 4.99, and I got it for 3.90. Why is it 3.95? That's weird. They're all 99s. Anyway, it went down to 3.95, so I love it at that. Because this kind of ethnic key, it's modern soon, so it's, you know, it should be well made, good brand. Ethnic key types quite quilted inside, I think. Yeah, it's sort of quilty inside. Should be, well, especially around festival season, that should be, hopefully, that's an easy 30 quid. So that'll be a good profit. Yeah, Hippie Boho Festival. Can't wait. As soon as like Christmas is out of the way, Christmas party, New Year's Eve party, Karen, we're back to festival. <laughs> Um, this actually is like an Adidas collab thing, which oh, probably oh, just realized it would fit me. I was sort of picked it up half thinking for my daughter, a pair of five, but it's I just love these things like that. Actually, she might need to fight me for it, so I might fit into that. Um, hope what oh, got their stuff in time. Oh, oh, tap peddler, when is last Hermes post out of interest because I don't know. Well, it's Glasto, what the um the month yeah well some of us could pull but some of us haven't got tickets oh sorry yes, <laughs> yes I bet you are Paul. <laughs> um yeah well there's still the resale we we live in hope my daughter I feel really bad actually she could have been put into a lot at school to go on like a really active trip that week from school, like all, um, I think it's near Snowden activities. She didn't even want to be put into, the, you know, you have to pay like 400 quid or something, but she didn't even want to be put in the drawer because she said it's Glastonbury week and if we do get tickets, she'd rather go to Glastonbury and loads of her friends have got in. And, you know, we might not get tickets, I thought, but I did really try to explain to her that, you know. Anyway, yes, this, I did pay 9.99 for this. But I was think um, such a day for herpes. Okay, I'm going to do a little drop off before school. I think um, this is just lush vintage Coke. Just tell by the collars and everything. I don't know how vintage. Maybe 80s actually. I don't know if anybody knows this brand Albany. Um, really lovely coat wool. But the point was the reason I paid 9.99 and I'm not meant to do coats is because it's Irish tweed. That Castle Island or wool. Look at that label, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so um, I don't know if my camera's not as good as it was, if I can focus it up a bit more. Is that helping at all? How can I tell if it's, because it seems not as sharp as it was at the beginning. Uh, oh, definitely it's for herpes, okay. I just made the, Clarity worse or better there? Oh, there we go. That's, that's as good as it. God, I think I've made it more blur. Apologies. That's how oh, well that'll do. Um, yeah, so I've got this is actually, I think this is um, Zero Little Coats. They really freaking hang around, don't they? But that Irish tweed, I've seen Irish tweed before and I couldn't resist. Just thought it was so nice. 
I, I won't mind so much that hangs around. It's not too big. It's more jackety than coaty. Uh, yeah, it's only next, but it's a large, it's a fiver. And the reason I picked this up was because I'm also, I'm a sucker. I love fisherman nets. I love, you know, like these kind of patchy things. I'm sure that will sell for 25 or 30. It's a large. They'll probably go for 30. I don't know, best offer, maybe. I'm sure it'll sell. So that'll be all right. Um, then I got a, a wool lovers, size small. Blimey, it was only two pounds. Um, it needs a deep bobble. I rejected some stuff today, so I just could not be bothered with the deep bobbling. It's only a little um, thing to go with the two dressed, I think, but it's 70% merino wool and 30% cashmere. So two pounds, that is nice. Yeah, happy with that. That's um, Bernardo. So get some uh, very reasonably priced stuff in there. And also from there, I got paid three pounds for a St. Michael. Uh, so this label is what, 90s? I think that's 90s. And it's um, like got high wool content and it's kind of chucky, not really tweed, is it? But um, lined, yeah, little, little slit at the back. So I'm sure I might get 20 on that on a good day. Um, right. Oh, yeah, it's not too long. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, this, oh, I've got a load of St. Michael from one shop. It was really, really great. Um, hi, she's all, always flipping dorking. Is that, is that Monday? Monday. Um, right. I don't know why I said it like that. Three pounds. And I think this is a 70s label. Yeah. This, I believe, is a 70s label. Um, the kind of the St. Mike on the box with the circles. Uh, well, something else that might suggest it's 70s, actually. Are these collars? And as a kid, well, I was about four, I had a shirt just like this with these kind of collars, orange. Um, yeah, three pounds. It's it's lush. I love that. Um, and then, yeah, I've got loads of stuff in the same. In the, it was in Sue. Um I'm trying auctions in New Year. Oh, or, yeah, I don't. I can't be bothered with getting so much stuff that I've got to then try and pass on other places. Now, these labels, I believe, I'm going to spat them, sorry. God, did I pay £7.50 for that? It's probably all right. Um, this label is 80s with the squares under here. And apparently, for some reason, I paid £7.50. I did pay up for a couple of the dresses, but what the good thing was, now I see Ryder card, I was going to fill it up and realise I'd get a fiver off, which brought the price down. So, um, yes, yeah, so it's a little jacket. And and I think this is wool or tweed or what the hell is it? 60% um, wool. And matching 80 skirt. So, um, yeah. Hopefully somebody will love that. That's definitely to get on for the winter time. And then, uh, yeah, this is all 80s. This, oh, this feels linen-y, actually. Look at that collar, actually. God, that looks very 70s, but I'm sure, maybe it's early 80s. I'm sure that label's 80s. Uh, so that was £4.50. I don't, is it a jacket? It's fucking hideous. Um, yeah, there you go. I seem to be, I don't know what it is, virtually everything I sell sells for 20 quid at the moment. Then it's because I put a lot of stuff on for 25. Oh, Monday, yeah. Oh, list why? Well, yeah, I should. Yeah, yeah, list away. Um, I put a lot of stuff on for 25, best offer, and then I've got automatic accept at 20. Everything I'm posting today has gone for 20. I don't know. I don't, I, yeah. So, I mean, I'm guessing I'm going to put all this vintage stuff on, not the suit, but like these dresses for 25, best offer, and they'll go for 20. Um, yeah, another 80s label. Um, but the good thing about these, so I've got quite a fabulous dress, oh, it's big, long. Uh, it is, these two dresses, they've got their belts, actually got their original belts. He's looked after this stuff. It's the sort of stuff my aunt 
Francis used to wear this sort of thing. Very much. Yeah, look at that. Um, yeah, I reckon 25. Best offer. And there's another dress. Oh, debris falling out. Yeah, another 80s label there. There you go. Um, yeah, so that, that was six. The other one was six. But I was thinking in my mind, well, I've got that. I'll fill up my little card and get a fibre off. But, yeah, I would... Yeah, look at those collars. I think this is, again, so shirt dress, feels like linen, um, 80s. But the fabulous thing is it's got its original belt, which really is fabulous. Look at that, the little circle. That's really cute. Oh, I would be if I didn't cock it up. Um, but that, yeah, makes it. Looks like some old person wardrobe and cleaned out. We were 76, yeah, agreed. And they've kept it all really, I mean, to have the belt. That's really nice, really nice touch that. Um, am I setting myself 2019 goals? Oh, yeah, I definitely. But I change my mind every five minutes, Cameron, what I want to do. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I want to fill up on my listings. I want to max up my listings. And I'm like, no, it just you won't be able to find it. Uh, you know, go for the quality. And I'm like, Oh, yeah, but everything's only getting like a ton of profit with the p prices I'm paying at the moment. I can't find enough stuff. But then I'm thinking if I do go for max out my listings, I'm going to have to like heavily build them up over the car boots um, and just get my stock organisation sorted. Oh, I was looking for the uh, ingredients. Oh, it's actually polyester. feels really linen -y. Um yeah, that's okay. I think that's everything that I got today, actually. Yeah, a couple of the random bits from yesterday, just boring jumpers. Yeah. So, oh, there you go. That wasn't too bad, was that? That was quite quick. Um, yeah. But then we're similar, Karen. I bet you're having the same um, quandary on, you know, pushing the listings. Oh, sorry. I'm pushing the listings up or being able to find your stuff and, you know, your storage issues. Well, I get storage issues in a different way, just that probably if I bit the bullet and went for the slippy plastic things, then I know I could probably store more. That would just, I'd have to change the way I'm working. Because, oh, no, I don't want to work like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, right, I'm going to leave it there. I might come on, um, probably do a sales vid towards the end of the week and might come and do another little... Um, read out some more of the Christmas number one um, from my advent box tree then. Um, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Right, I'm gonna go, yeah, what's it, 151. Let's, um, let's go on with some stuff. Right, have a good day, everybody. <laughs> That's very steep going, isn't it? Okay, I'm not sure I want to push listings up, but want to use them all just fast to turn around. <sighs> Yeah, I'm the same. I, yeah, I just faff from, oh, I want quicker turnover to, oh, you, you know, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, because, all right, I'll just say this one thing. Because um, the camera that I bought for 20 quid the other week sold yesterday for 60. and But then when you think about it, um, so £9 off in fees, so about 30 quid has gone in fees and the original cost. Um, so you're making 30 quid, but then if I'd have spent seven pounds on three items, I'd have got about the same amount of profit, potentially have sold them quicker, they didn't hang around that long. But, you know, like, I'm like, oh God, I hope it's all right, I hope I'm not going to get a return. <sighs> Swings and roundabouts. Yeah, right, bye-bye everybody, have a good day.